Well, that's a haunting sound and one that brings back memories when I worked as a physician in the emergency department. The ambulance is coming. We have a sick patient. There's communication and dialogue between the paramedics and the emergency department. We have to get ready. And the more information we have about patient coming, the better off we're going to be. But where do we get that information? Well, the paramedics try to get it at the scene. But if the patient is unconscious, where do we find out? Are they allergic to anything? What medications are they on? Lots of information we need to know before that ambulance arrives in the emergency department. That's where you can help by filling out the emergency medical information on your phone, because that is the first place the paramedics go to retrieve the information. Now that information is going to be on the unlocked part of your phone. Anyone can actually observe that. But if you're unconscious, it could be a life and death situation. So today we're going to look at how to fill out that medical information on an Android phone. <laughs> it's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, where we make videos to help explain technology. Now, you know, the old like and subscribe and click the notification and we'll notify you when we make a new video. It could be a life and death decision. Anyway, let's get on with the video and look at how to fill out the medical information on an Android phone. So the important thing for you to know is that the medical information entered today is going to be done on my Pixel 6 phone and it's going to be on Android 12. Now the menuing system is different on different phones and different versions of Android. But the principles are still the same. So let's go ahead and just see what happens when I enter the medical information on my Pixel 6 phone with Android 12. All right, let's go to the safety and emergency services on your phone. And we're going to open up a medical information to start with. All right, the first thing obviously is your name. You can enter your name. The second thing is blood type. Now, in 2022, um, this is not important. We don't need to know your blood type when you come into the emergency department. This is something that uh, is quickly available now. Uh, when you used to watch MASH and saw dog tags, well, that maybe uh, was important, but not in 2022. And in particularly in Canada, there's no way you know what your blood test is unless, unless you give blood. Coming down to allergies. Allergies, of course, are important. Please keep this updated. I have no allergies except to elastoplast. Medications. Medications. This is extremely important because the unconscious patient coming into the emergency depart department, we have no idea what medication you're on. Please, please update this. Um, address. Address is very important uh, because we often need to contact loved ones and people involved in your care. However, I'll be cautious about this in just a second. And as we come down and we click the more, uh, it asks for any uh, medical notes. And I think this is important uh, in the medical notes. Uh, your primary care physician address and phone number is great to put in the medical notes or any comments or concerns you have about your health. This is where we would look to find specifics. Uh, then, of course, uh, come down to organ donor. This is so important to know, and this can be in a very confusing times when people are very ill. We want to know if they're an organ donor, and this is a very good place to put that. Uh, if you look down um, at the very bottom here, this is so important. To help with emergency, people can view this without unlocking your device. So the information you're going to put above is going to be a viewed by people on who have your phone and don't have to unlock it to see this information. And the caution I put on that is you also have to be careful because of course, if you lost your phone, people are going to be able to view this information without having to unlock it. So you, you do have to be a little bit cautious, particularly with your address and information you wanna put in here. Uh, you can change the settings. If you click here, you'll see it's an easy to change this setting. You just click here and it now will not be available to emergency personnel. I should tell you though, is if you do decide to do that, then um, you will not, emergency personnel wouldn't know your um, 
your password so they wouldn't be able to get into your phone. So the information wouldn't be available for the ambulance attendants. So that's, uh, that is uh, medical information, um, the medical information section. All right, the second one uh, here is, of course, emergency contacts. Uh, this is uh, pretty straightforward. If we click this, we can now add um, emergency contacts, and we'll go over this in just a minute later on in this section. But to um, obviously, uh, you have to be careful. To help an emergency, people can view and call these contacts with unlock out unlocking your device. Again, this allows the... Um, uh, emergency services people to contact people who you you have designated who might know something about your health. This could be a family member or a close friend. You can also change this setting again, and we can of course um, turn this off so uh, you will not have access to this information uh, if um, if that's uh, if if that's your wish. But again, that really makes this uh, feature. Um, pretty well useless. So you'll want to leave that turned on and you'll want to add your emergency contacts. All right, let's look at the emergency SOS feature now. Uh, we're going to come and I'm going to click this and this is going to give us the emergency SOS uh, feature of, uh, of the phone. I have mine of course turned on. You can turn this on or you can turn it off, okay? So we're now going to try the demo of an SOS. Uh, it will tell us how to start an emergency OS, SOS, the five second countdown, and how to cancel the SOS, and what to expect after the countdown. And keep in mind this is a simulation. So I'm gonna click the, um, the start button now and let's see how this will work. So that's how you would click it five times, the power button, one, two, three, four, five, and this is going to start the sequence of events, one, two, three, four, five, and this is going to start. So we're going to go to the next step, and you'll see the countdown timer, and it's going to call emergency services. So what to expect after the countdown timer? Calling, sharing, and recording will automatically start. You can choose which of these features you want to use in settings. And boom, this is all going to start a sequence of events. So now we're back at the main menu. Let's look how we would set this up. If we come down, first of all, there is a sound, an alarm sound that will be played. And this is an example of what the sound is going to sound like. Now, the next uh, option you have is, do you want uh, emergency services called? Uh, in most cases, I would think you would probably want 911 called. But if you had a medical problem in which required uh, a, lot of, um, a lot of care, you may have this set up so that you turn this off and you could then just have your um, close contacts called for for an event. So you may not always want 911 called. So all as I'm showing you here, in most cases, you would leave this on. The next feature is sharing the info with emergency contacts. Now, if you add your emergency contacts in here, then these are the people that could be contacted rather than 911. So if you had, uh, let's say, uh, an elderly uh, an elderly patient you were caring for and they had maybe a fall and didn't need 911. Maybe if you lived in the same house, then they could simply, uh, then that this would contact you rather than 911. So you have your option and you can certainly have both on here so that it would contact both emergency services and both your emergency contacts. You can actually, if we click on, you can actually record a video. Uh, so you can record a video that would play for the emergency services, uh, which is sort of interesting. Uh, to record the video, it's very easy. You just click here and, and record. 
You have here auto share. After backup, a link to the download. Your video is automatically shared with your emergency contacts. You can choose to cancel sharing when recording ends. So you can either share this or uh, share it. So you have your option of either sharing or not. And your phone records up to 45 minutes per video. So you can have a fairly long video if you want it played. So this is an option that you can actually uh, share your video and if you do have some complicated medical problems that you want to create a synopsis and have it available this is a good option for you okay let's let's look at car crash detection this is actually where your phone can detect when you've been in a car crash and notify emergency services this is only available at present on the pixel phone but it was announced this week that this will be rolling out for all Android phones. So watch for this feature when it comes if you do not have a Pixel phone. This is where um, car crash detection will actually tell when you've been in an accident. So I have mine turned on. And if your phone detects that you've been in a severe car crash, Pixel will vibrate, sound an alarm, and ask you if you need help. If you don't respond, Pixel will attempt to contact 911 and provide your location and car crash data. So let's see how this might look. We're going to try a demo. Car crash detected. Say emergency to call 911 now. Otherwise, say cancel and you have 60 seconds to make up your mind. And if you click I'm okay, you can certainly say I'm okay or call 911. I'm going to click I'm okay. If you don't respond, Pixel attempts to contact 911 to provide your location and car crash data. So I, ha I have this turned on and I wonder how this will work on my e-bike if I get into a bit of a crash up on it. I'll let you know. Crisis alerts. So when we click this, we'll see crisis alerts. I'm going to turn this on and leave it on. I think this is an excellent feature. I get notified about natural disasters and public emergencies affecting your area. Keep in mind, Pixel may not notify you about all public uh, emergencies. You can use this setting to manage certain emergency messages like disaster warnings, threat notification, and amber alerts. Important, you can use this setting to manage certain emergency messages like disaster warnings, threat notification, and amber alerts. You can turn alert types on or off, view past alerts, and control sound and vibration. I guess I've got incoming to the emergency department, so I'm sorry I'm gonna to have to leave you right away. Please help us by filling out the emergency notification on your smartphone. It makes a big difference and certainly will help us save lives in the emergency department. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, where we make videos to help you understand technology. Remember the like and subscribe and the notification bell, and we'll send you a notification when we make a new video. I hope you've enjoyed this very important video, and we'll see you again soon.